Hi there, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my new cleaning products. Thank you to Co for sending me these cleaning products to try out. I'm really excited to try them. I've heard so much about Co that I've been on Facebook, Instagram, all sorts of social media. And what I love is that it's just one universal cleaner, one cleaning product for your whole house. If you're new to my channel, my name's Mel. I do a lot of cleaning, decluttering, and organizing on my channel. I basically make weekly videos to help you simplify your life and simplify your home so that you have more time for the things that are important to you. And as a minimalist, I have been looking for a way to minimize the amount of products in my home, and that's in all categories, but particularly cleaning products. I have a lot of different cleaning products that I've tried, and I have a lot of eco-friendly and natural cleaning products that I've been trying. But when I heard about Co, I thought, I have to try this product. If it's one product that will do everything in my kitchen, my bathroom, all areas of my home, my car even, then that will be brilliant. And that means I can declutter my laundry cupboard and just have the one product for everything. So in today's video, I'm just gonna do a general clean of my house like I usually would. Bathrooms, a bit of the kitchen, some of the surfaces in the living rooms and the bedrooms. I'm not gonna do any deep cleaning of things like the oven, that sort of thing. If I do do that, I'll leave that for another video so I can show you what I think. But for now, I'm just gonna concentrate on some general whole house cleaning. The lovely people at Co have given me a discount code for you all. It is just simply mail, which I'll have in the description below and on the screen now. And if you are an Australian resident, you'll get $10 off your first bundle purchase with Co when you use that code. So to start off with, I've got the Co Universal Cleaner in the spray atomizer. And this actually comes, I think it's four liter container, a plastic bag full of this cleaner, and it's like a basically a refill package. You basically stick your bottle under the tap and fill up your bottle. I've filled it up most of the way, I think about three quarters of the way. And then with the mop, I've also got the Co Mop and I filled that up about halfway with the cleaner. Um, I don't use, need to use a lot of liquid on the floors, particularly the wooden floors in my kitchen. You don't want to get them too wet, and I can also you know, just fill this up as I need to. It also came with three of these green general cleaning cloths, and it actually has handy little labels, so it says they're general. It's got this little rough textured scrubby bit, so you can get the more hard to reach and, and areas that need a bit more scrubbing with just the one cloth. And there's also different textures on the different sides. The blue cloth is exactly the same. It's got the little scrubby corner and that is labeled bathroom. And you've got your white smoother glass cleaning cloth and that says glass on there. So what I have is the mop bundle. You can go onto Co's website and have a look at all the different bundles that they have. In the mop bundle, I also received four of these diamond sponges, and these are your more abrasive, hard scrubbing job, you know, sort of scouring sponges. You'll want to be careful where you use these. But this one, because it is abrasive, you have to be careful, so you do need to test areas first before you use the sponge on it. And with the universal cleaner, you can use it on most surfaces. I did see on their website that they recommend that you don't use them on softer metals like brass and copper. And then you can use it on wood. I'm just going to test an inconspicuous area on my wood furniture first before I spray it all over and see how that goes. So they do recommend that if you're not sure, you just test it on an inconspicuous area of your furniture before you spray the whole thing. All right, so let's get into it. quite a generous spray and I'm just going to spray down the dish drainer and my sinks here and just leave it for a few seconds before I start wiping it down with my cloth. Little corner pit bit really works well.
So I feel like that worked pretty well. There was some browning along the rim here and most of that has come off quite well with just the scrubby part of that cloth. I did have a bit of trouble behind here which is really caked on and I don't want to use the abrasive sponge on stainless steel because I think it's too harsh. I might get a toothbrush and have a go at that again later and see the gunk there and I'm just going to use a fresh cloth to wipe down the benches in the stove. I'm going to use the glass cloth to splash back a bit of polish. I find when you press the spray, it actually pumps out a generous amount of spray just with one pull of the trigger. So you don't really need to um, keep like constantly spraying a lot out. All right, so here's my beverage side table. It's really expensive wood. So what I'm gonna do is do what Kai recommends and just test a little inconspicuous part of the table with this new cleaner, just in case. And then I'll just wait a few minutes and see how that goes. And in the meantime, I'm going to clean the other dresser. Now behind me is also my TV and my husband always says to me do not dust or put any cleaners on the screen or anything like that but don't tell hubby I'm going to try go on the screen of the TV because I saw on their website that you can actually use this cleaner on TV screens so I'm just going to very carefully spray a bit on the cloth and wipe it directly um, the cloth on the screen using the smoother side and I'm not going to tell my husband. It's so nice and clean now and there were a couple of little hard spots on there which I just gently applied a bit more pressure with my cloth and the cleaner and they came off so I think it looks really good and hubby will never know that I didn't do as I was told. So let's just check out where I sprayed earlier and look it looks fine so I'm just going to go ahead and clean the surface of this table.
So this morning I cleaned my shower walls inside the shower. I'm just going to have a go at cleaning the floor of the shower, which you can see I've got my grout brush there and some shampoo. And I'm just going to give it a bit of a spray with coat, leave it for a minute and then give it a scrub. I cleaned the floor and it's looking really good now. I got most of this sort of pink mildew off the grout but I had to scrub really really hard with my grout brush but that's the same no matter what bathroom cleaner I use and I don't think Co is supposed to be a mold cleaner or killer but most cleaners aren't actually. I'm pretty sure I read on their website that it doesn't get rid of mold stain. Um, you probably have to bleach it for that but even then that wouldn't kill any mold. But I think it looks pretty good. I'm really loving this scrubby corner because you can see here I'm able to get into all these little nooks and crannies here with it. That's my favourite thing about these cloths actually, I think that's clever. Using disposable paper towels to clean the toilet like I always do because I think using reusable cloths and then putting them in the washing machine is a bit icky when it comes to the toilet. Alright, so I've got my mop all ready to go and this is pretty cool because it's just clean it in there, I don't even need to dilute it with water or anything and it's even got this handy tool which particularly when I'm cleaning my floors I find it really annoying when you've got this pad on the mop and it doesn't quite get off everything on the floor like anything hard or crusty on there but this is attached to the handle of your mop and you can use it just to scrape off anything that needs a bit more persuasion to come off your floorboards or your tiles. And then this bit, that is for you to comb the pad of your mop if you get any hairs and things caught in it. I think that's really cool and it just clips on the handle here. So it's always there right where you need it. One thing I'm excited about too, I've got three different types of flooring in my house. I've got polished wood floorboards in my kitchen, I've got really shiny glossy tiles downstairs in my living room and then in the bathrooms I have got some more porous tiles so I should be able to use this one cleaner 
on all three of those, which is really, really good. Alright, so it's official. The comb mop is officially my favourite cleaning product or new cleaning product that I've tried out this year. It sprays so well, I have to show you in a minute, but my old spray mop, which is a cheapie I bought from a supermarket, sprayed not as well as this to start with. I was still using my old mop with a spray bottle of water to like dampen the floor. This sprays so well, I love it. It's just so easy to use. And I'm not saying this, you know, just because this is a product review for Co. This is my true opinion. I wouldn't recommend anything that I'm not happy with to you guys. I'm very serious about that. And you know I don't do a lot of reviews on my channel either. Cleaning the shower and mopping are probably my hated cleaning jobs ever. I even hate mopping the floor more than I hate cleaning the toilet. I don't actually mind cleaning the toilet, as weird as that sounds. But this has now made mopping a lot easier and it's not going to be something that I dread anymore. So I'll show you how this sprays because this is really cool. Like the amount of spray and it kind of sprays out wide. It's, I'm just going to show you anyway. It is really good. So I hope you can see how this sprays out. It's awesome and I sprayed it twice but I only really needed to spray it once. And the thing about wooden floorboards is you don't want to get them too wet, too damp because that can soften the wood and damage it and at one point we did actually have to get our floorboards, like a couple of them, glued back down because I had used too much water in them with our old sponge mop which is why I bought a spray mop but I like this one better because my old spray mop just wasn't working properly after a while. You really only need one squirt and you know, one squirt will go a long way with this stuff. I hope you found this video helpful and motivating. Again, if you do want to try the code products, you can use my code simply mail below for $10 off your first bundle if you are living in Australia. I really enjoyed trying out these products today, so I hope you'll give them a try as well. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already by clicking on my face below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.